good to see you, man. Thank you, son. So I've already understood. Am I dying soon? No, ma, you're not. Jojo, you're lying to me. I'm not, ma. We still have to wait for the test result for the other department. It would be a heartbreaking thing if I were to die now. You're not dying now, so don't worry, ma. Thank you. The most important thing during old age is to exercise and rest a lot. I do all of that. You should know me. I'm not so lazy that I will sit put in a place without doing anything. I know that, ma. Ara, please stop all this. What am I doing now that you want me to stop? My mom isn't going to be here for too long. She's your mom. She can stay as long as she wants, okay? We both know you don't mean that. I'm serious here. I'm less worried about your mom. Really? Yes, what is on my mind is having children of my own. You are back here again. I want children, Stanley. You heard what your mom said. Don't worry about my mom's words. I've got to worry on them. I love you. I love you too. But we need children in this family. Okay? Yes, so the IVF, that's what I want us to do here, okay? I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Baby, why won't he just agree that we need to try one more time? Just one more time, that's all I'm asking for. For one more trial. One. He expected me to be different. How would he react if he found out that you had brought your mom over to the house? He would react, Mama. I know my husband. But that doesn't mean he can just bring his mom over. His mom is sick. Really? Yeah, she's sick and that's why he brought her for proper medical care. I see. Yeah, and that's why he got so mad at me for talking about it all the way I did. He was really angry, Aaron. Really angry. He didn't know. Yeah, but I should have been more welcoming. Gabriel is mad at me as we speak. Why? You're asking me why? Didn't you hear what I said about his mom being sick and me getting mad over his mom being around? You should be the one piece of nothing. You should have told you that way. Well, tables have turned and I'm the one now apologizing. Are you sure I'd get married? Of course, yes, you would. So I won't do a thing and you're expecting to apologize, really? Not in all situations, darling. Not in all, okay? Marriage is hard work, but see, you two will sort out your issues, I'm sure. Definitely. Good. I you know maybe for now that his mom is there, be all welcoming. I am always welcoming of her, but she loves to cause issues between me and my husband. Weren't you best of friends before? Yeah, we were. And so whatever happened to us happened. So? Your mom is okay. She just needs to rest a lot. Oh, thank God. Yeah, mommy is fine, but... But what? She still needs to be back to the hospital next two weeks for some more examination. Why? What's wrong with me? Didn't you say that I'm fine? You're fine, mommy. But you know we need to follow up and be sure that you're okay. Jojo, what aren't you telling me? I mean, nothing. Some test results we did. We still have to wait for about two days to get it. In that period, I suggest you rest and rest for two weeks without any form of stress in any way. I will ensure she does that, man. She will even be with us for now. I wrote some drugs for her to take. Take this to the pharmacy and get them. Is she okay? Yeah. You are lying to me, man. What is wrong with her? She's likely to have diabetes and also a kidney disease. What? Man, let's wait for the test result. She'll be fine. When will they be out? Next two days, but your mom should rest for the next two weeks. We both know that she's hypertensive. What does this mean? Surgery? No, nothing. Nothing like that, man. The result might even come out as negative. But these are what I suspect is wrong with her. Okay. I'm sorry I took long. I found it difficult to find my way from the restroom here. No problem, ma. I'll see you, ma. I'll come around. Let me know the day you're coming so I'll make you something really nice. Yes, ma. Mommy, good morning, ma. Morning. How was your night rest, ma? Good. Okay. What did you make for me? Your favorite, ma. My favorite. Do you know what I would love the most now? I know. Children. I want children all around me. I also want children, mama. Stop with those tears. Stop them. I want children, mama. I really do. Then why haven't you gotten any child for me? Not even one. I have tried everything, but nothing. Nothing. All the halves I have been sending from home. I took everything, mom. Every one of them. I took them, but still got nothing. Then why are you still here? Why here in my son's house when you can't give him children?
Baby, welcome. Mommy, welcome. Ma. Thank you. Why are you home by this time? Shouldn't you be at the shop? I cancelled all my plans for today to be home with you, Mom. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, Lara. So what would you like me to get for you, Mom? Nothing. I'm going to rest my head. So you left work to come spend time with Mommy? Yeah, I did. Don't you sound like the woman I met yesterday. The one who didn't want my mom here. I am sorry about how I had reacted yesterday. If your mom decides to come over, I won't chase her away or say anything harsh to her. I know, and I am sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. You are forgiving? You sure? Yes, I am very, very sure. I hope no grudge is against you, okay? Okay, so how did the test go? It wasn't so good, but we don't know what's wrong yet. Wow, really? Yes. Does this mean Mama will be here for a while? Yes, it does. She needs to rest for the next two weeks before we go back to see the doctor. Man, I'm just tired. What happened? I don't be a mom. Who? Yeah, man. Yesterday and today we were meant to be one of the happiest day of our lives. But look, man, it's not even close to it. She's pregnant. Not that. I got a contract I've been bidding for, and this means a more comfortable life for us. Wow. Congratulations, man. I know this is a big deal for you. Yeah, thanks. But my happiness is short-lived, and I get when they say one can be wealthy and still unhappy. Oh, yeah, I get that. In ways, I wish I didn't invite my mom over because she's just making things difficult for her be children, children, children. Everyone wants to have children and grandkids. I also wonder, but it's not forthcoming that I can do about it, man. Just what? Why don't you try IVF again? Adabi also suggests that. Then why not do it, man? You never can tell if this is going to be the time it will work out. You are suggesting that as well? Yes, I am, man. No, we are not going through that pain again. I can't bear it, man. How about the surrogate? Come on, Jojo. I've brought the decisions to you guys before, but you said no. This isn't really a big deal, man. Think about it. Still no. I'm heading to the office. Okay. I wish you a great day ahead. And don't worry about all this, okay? Everything will be fine. It's just a matter of time. Why are you here since you know you can't give me grandchildren? Mommy, I can give you grandchildren. Then give me one. I am only asking for one, Ada. Mommy, I'm tired already. I don't think you are tired yet. If you are tired, you would look for solution to this problem. Mommy, if you have a solution to this, tell me. I will follow you anywhere. Ada, Ada, hmm. Mommy, I want children too. I am the only surviving person in my family. I would love to leave a trail behind before I leave this world. So you know all this as well? I do. You know when my son brought you home, I accepted you wholeheartedly and took care of you. I know, ma. Am I wrong to have accepted you into my family? Am I? No, ma, you're not. You know Stanley is my only son. I don't even know his father, but I struggled all alone to take care of him. Do you think I am happy seeing that in these past 14 years, he's not giving me a child of my own? I know you're not happy, ma. Imagine, if you are in my own position here as a mother, how would you feel about it all? How would you even react to it all? I might react worse. Exactly. And that is why I want you to allow my son marry another wife. What is this? She didn't change the bed sheet. Lara, Lara. Mommy, is everything okay? Why is my room still looking this way? Why, Lara? I, I, I already cleaned it up. You cleaned it up? When? Look at the bedspread. Is this how you sleep here? Sleeping on the same bedspread every day? I will change it, ma. Change it fast. What's all this? Dirtiness. First, you don't have a mother in the house. How can you as a married woman not have a mother in this house? Just how? You wanted to use a machine to pound food for me to eat? Really? I have bought the mother already now. Good for you. No wonder my son and grandson are looking all skinny. Modern wife or what do they call you? Modern woman, is that it? Allow him to marry a second wife. Mommy. Yes, Ada. See, I know that no woman wants to share a husband, but I want grandchildren, and you are not giving me any idea. What do you suggest I should do then? Tell me, what should I do? I will have children for you, mommy. 
When? Is it when I am old and dead? I'm already a old woman. Mommy, I don't want my husband to marry another wife. Who knows maybe this other wife that you need in this home that will allow you to bring forth children? Who knows, Ada? <laughs> Bobby. I love you, Ada. I love you so, so much. But my son needs to give me children. Please allow him marry another woman. See, she won't even live close to here. She will be far away from you too. She will just be giving me grandchildren. Why you and Stanley can continue all this your love life as you please. I was about to come looking for you. Where is it? Why are you sounding that way? Nothing. Did something happen between you and my mom again? I am heading to the shop. Talk to me. What happened? Why are you looking this way? I am fine. Don't worry. You sure? Yeah, I need to go to the shop. Stay some minutes with me. Let's play a little bit. Not in the mood. What's wrong? Talk to me, baby. Nothing. My mom is calling you. Yeah, I'll be heading out from there. I wonder what's wrong with her. Why didn't you come inside? I can't walk out of the car. Why? What is wrong? My legs can't carry themselves. Adobe, what is this now? Why are you crying now? What happened? Everything happened, Joy. Everything is actually happening. Your mother-in-law again? She wants her son to marry another woman. That won't happen. Joy, it can happen. You won't allow it to happen. Or what? That can't happen, so just relax. What kind of woman am I if I don't let it happen? It's been years. So what? Joy. Don't even think about it. So you want someone from nowhere to come and sit down in your house, fighting on your husband with you? Is that it? What if I never have children? What if this is the year you will have kids? See, forget about all this and focus on something else. Focus on taking care of yourself, looking young and fresh until you get your miracle baby. Joy. Ha. Okay. Yes. And you put yourself together. If it was me that this woman told this nonsense to, I would have sent her out of the house ASAP. Me and my husband in my own husband's house. Someone will now come and tell me to allow my husband to bring in another woman. Can she take it? If someone told her something like that, will she take it? Lara, have you washed the best spread already? No. Mm -hmm. I want you to help me wash the clothes in that bag. Okay. I'll send them to the dry cleaner. No, no. You know I don't like it when they wash my clothes. Okay. I would show you how to wash it. I know it's been a while since I had last visited you people here, so you must have forgotten. I will call the lady that washes to come over. You can't wash my clothes. Is that what you are saying? No, I didn't say so. Then what are you saying? Your phone has been ringing, babe. It's do some to go and eat. I'll call you back. Gabriel, I want your wife to do some washing for me. I'll take it to the dry cleaner, mommy. Mm, I have to go to the shop now, please. I will tell Ellen to come over. Who is Ellen? Now put your smile on and sit down. Let me get you water. What if I never have children of my own? What if I will never have kids? Oh God. Drink the water. I will thank you. Now I need you to take that smile on. What if I never have kids? I don't know what you're talking about. But see, you will have children. So you want him to go and marry someone else who will not take him away from you? How about I find someone who will just have children for him? Just children? I don't be. I'm just thinking about everything. Talk to him about the IVF again. Try it again. It's my workout. Or maybe the surrogate mom. Why are you sounding like you don't know my husband? I'm still trying to convince him to allow me to have another IVF, but he's saying no. Talk to him again. What if it failed? You're becoming too mounted, Adobe. Don't you want this or what? I want to do this. But I'm just thinking of everything. That's what I'm doing here. Be positive that things will work out. Keep that positivity in you, okay? And forget about the second wife option or any baby mama. Busy thing. Well done, guys. Why don't I, babe? I was about to even call you and hear how your day went. It was good. I stopped by earlier, but you weren't here. Yeah, I had to go and sort some things out. Everything is fine. 
Yeah. But my mother in law is about to start it again and again. What happened? First, it was on the food she was to eat. Then the bed sheet. And now I'm washing her clothes. That's easy. Give the dry cleaner. Dry cleaner doesn't wash her clothes. Haven't I told you before? You don't mean it. I mean it. Dry cleaners don't wash her clothes. It's got to be washed under a supervision. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Didn't I tell you when I was newly married and she came over? No, you didn't. When I got married to my husband then, it was Gabriel that used to wash her clothes for her with his hands. Are you for real? Yeah, I'm being serious, hey. But with time, I helped her too at times. And then there were times she would allow the lady that washes for us to do the work. And now she's back to it again. Exactly. But when I left the house for them, no one will come and stress me out in any way. No one. And I mean it. When is she going home? Not anytime soon. She is here until she is declared fine. Hope you are ready for the whole drama. No drama anyway. See, I don't even have the time for all that. I just wish her quick recovery so she can be fine and get better. You saw how your wife walked out on me, right? Mommy, you know Lara is busy with work. She's expecting some goods. I know you will support her. I just know it. Mommy, I am not supporting her in any way. She will apologize to you when she comes back. She should wash my clothes. That's all I want. Mommy, I'll call the woman that washes to come wash the clothes here. Wait, are you telling me your wife can't wash my clothes? They are smelly, right? I didn't say so, Mom. And you know it. No problem. I will wash it myself. Mommy, you don't need any of this stress, please. You know the doctor said you should rest. And we have to still go back to the hospital and see him. What will she be doing in my house once she is well? What if she decides to stay? I don't think she will do that. My husband won't agree to that. Your husband has lost his wife like his life. I don't blame him for doing that. I don't even have an issue with the woman. But our own issues are too much at times. I have a mother in my house now. The Panajab stuff, right? Yeah, and my husband is still giving me an attitude. I wanted to stay at home with her today, but I'm sure we would put up an argument if I should try that. Mother in laws. I can't be that way to my own son's wife. I need to come by the house and see her. You're welcome to see her, Aaron. More than welcome. And you want me to get married? You're looking for an excuse to just end things with this new man you've got, but it won't work. Why won't it work? Because I said so. Better go and get married fast, fast. Even if I want to marry, I'll marry someone whose mother is dead, so she won't stress me out in any way. What are you saying? It's the truth. How many days has your husband mother used that you're already complaining about her presence in the house? Yeah, that's true. But that doesn't mean you should say something like that. Imagine if you have a child in the future and your son's wife is praying that her mother-in-law should be dead before she gets married. She is wishing me dead. God forbid. You see, so you shouldn't also wish your mother-in-law dead. There are good ones out there. Even Gabriel's mom is nice. Just that her own is she completes a load on everything. Hello, mommy Gabriel. My friend, how are you doing? I am fine, and you? I'm fine too. I have missed you so much. I have missed you more. Where are you now? Still in Imo. No, I am in Lagos. Are you serious? You're in Lagos at your son's place? Yes, so I am there as I am speaking to you now. I am also at Gabriel's place. Send me the address of Stanley's place. Let me see if it's somewhere I know. How far, man? I'm not too good. Why? What happened? Not too really, man. When will the results be out? Why are you in a hurry? Plus, it's not like you have to be worried. You sure about that? I shouldn't be too worried. Yeah, man. Calm down your nerves, okay? Okay, then. Okay. So, what's up with you? Nothing, really. Are you seeing that beautiful woman over there? Don't tell me you're looking at another lady. <laughs> I admire a beautiful woman, but not for me. For you. For me? Yes, for you, man. With the way women have dealt with me. No, man. I'm not interested. How have women dealt with you? My wife left me, remember? Divorced me to go and meet someone else whom she believes is better than me. Doesn't mean you shouldn't give love a chance again. You should, man. Yeah, but not today. That woman ain't my spec. I, it's I know, but what have you done with that? Not interested in her, man. She's too complicated for my liking. 